Hello everyone and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today I'm doing a slightly different video which I'm having to film on my phone because my laptop is now connected to doing all my reactions and my tablet wouldn't upload the video. So this is my third time do doing this video. So I'm going to try it again. Uh, okay. Now we're going to be doing the Metallica and Justice for All box set. Now, now apparently the sound on my phone is not the best, but anyway, here's the box set. It's really heavy though, I know it might not look very heavy on camera, but it really is quite heavy in reality. So, in, so yeah, uh, I'm going to have to... So I'm, oh, I'm going to open it now just to like, get it all. So this is the, what's inside the set. Maybe you'll realise why it was so heavy. Um, but anyway, here we go. This is the beginning of the box set. So it's done. And also my room will be getting done soon. Uh, I will get all my posters back up. They'll look normal again. But as for now, I'm just sticking with doing the this video, like, I don't know what's going to come next, but we have four patches in the, came in this little pack here, in case you saw it. There's the one patch, like the, if you want to pause the video and take a proper look at them, then you can, but anyway. Um, the money tips her, the scales again. Oh, not sure if you saw that very well, but... Another, another patch there. Then there is the in vertigo you will be. I think that's a lyric from Eye of the Beholder. And then there's this one, just the classic and justice for all patch. So yeah, just some proper like I wouldn't wear these patches because they're from a box set and this was and box sets like these are just so expensive and the thing I've found with these patches, I've never worn like a patch jacket or anything but if I ever did I would have thought that I would have grown out of that jacket and then they would just be on there and you can't take them back off so it's not, I, I wouldn't wear the patches but anyway, this is the next thing <coughs> Alright, I'm just... Okay, I think I'm ready now. Okay, so to start off with, on this side you have like a, a Lady Justice shot. It's a pretty nice shot. And then if you hold it landscape on the other side, it's a computer download. I think I did download it on my computer, but there's a problem with it now, so I don't have it anymore. But then there's Captains of the Crunch. Is it just, is it Captains of the Crunch or Captains of Crunch? Uh, yeah, the Captains of, of Crunch. Um, yeah. Uh, but it just has like, we didn't, didn't put the whole song titles on this, which is like, Bells, Sanitarium, Harvester, those sort of things. And now we have the big ones. So it's all like, main, so what I mean by big ones is like the main part of the set. So now we have this one, the and justice for all. Like, okay. So we have like a lyric sheet, and there's two records inside. And now we have this is just insane. Uh, it's quite light as well, surprisingly light for a record, but it doesn't matter because this is just an amazing drawing on this cover. Uh, this is one of my favourite records that I own, even though I don't get it out too often, it's just one of my favourites that I own, because it's just like the drawing. And I'm not sure if there was much on the on the other side of the record, but I think it says Seek and Destroy Life. Um, how long does it say? February 5th. 1989. That is really coincidental because today actually is February 5th. 
2021, the day of filming this video. So, somehow, the time was right. So, I'll give, it, I'll give you a shot of the thing again. So, that's the back. It's just see, so it's see can destroy live. Um, I don't know where it's live. I didn't check. Um, it says it's live. Reunion, reunion, reunion arena. Um, Dallas, Texas. So I made that is one of my favorites of the whole thing. Then there's Metallica, there's, there's more vinyl here, because I think musicians prefer uh, vinyl to CD. I personally do prefer CD to vinyl, I think. There are some, there are quite a few reasons why, but anyway, this has like, this has three, this has three records in it. It's a huge, huge vinyl like you just and then you open it up like that and then you open it like that so yeah it is just like like the vinyl in this box there amazing right so and then we have short straws and forms for you art print now magazine I collect called Metal Hammer. I am subscribed to Metal Hammer. They sometimes do put art prints a bit like this in their magazine, so uh, I know what, like, so I think I know that this is an art print because it has been put on Metal Hammer magazines that they're art prints, and I'm assuming that is an art print, but anyway, here we have, this is really good, and I mean, Absolute favourite part of the box set. I think it's a folder, and the folder like it has like one side that has a metal hammer like organisation Metallica, like a couple of stuff there, and then there are like Metallica doodles, and that, and that is where there's the rest of the folder like for you to put your own stuff in, but. Now, obviously, this has to have been photocopied because I don't think anyone's going to have written them out that many times. But these here are all the lyrics to the songs on um, "And Justice for All." They're all songs, lyrics for all songs on um, "And Justice for All." So, um, yeah. Perfect, yeah, like amazing. Like that's one of my favourite parts of the box set, I think. Now next up we have this. It's an and justice for all book. So basically, so this is just a basic idea of what this book is about. Just here, like here we have like just some stories. Of like back in the day of injustice for all like all that and I'm just trying to find like a picture that I could show and also it includes like the making of one which is actually oh actually includes that drawing of that we saw in the so here here we go here we go they have like four pages of pictures on there. So that's just, I could be here for a while talking about this book, but I, but the video's got longer than expected already, so we're gonna move on. So now I'm gonna actually see if I can get a good shot of this, but here we are. See these. I'm gonna explain every single last one that's what i'm going to try and do right now so we are going to the start off we have the cd 
like, and it is a remastered CD, you can tell because when the type of remastered CDs, you can they have them in, like, gatefold CD, where it's like a close-up of every album cover. Then there's interviews, which will be interesting to hear because I don't really listen to many interviews. You don't see interview CDs around a lot, so they would be interesting to listen to. Uh, so would Rift Jam from Demo C. When you get this box there, it's almost like if you're a huge Metallica fan, like they're literally the only band you listen to. In fact, I actually wore my Metallica hoodie just to do this video. But actually, I thought of this idea yesterday, but I just got into whatever clothes I saw today. So, this is, so it's kind of weird how I just picked, picked this one, but anyway, it's almost like if they're the only band you listen to and you've listened to their music so many times, so many times, then you have all this stuff here where you can listen to like new riffs and stuff, like the jams and the demos, basically that's what that was. So a lot more when you have this box set. Then there's, this is the like whole section there, uh, it's Live at the Troubadour and is this the one that has B-sides? It's the one that has B-sides. Uh, here we are, it's, actually I'm not going to read them all out because it has Lots, but actually, I'm gonna bring out bring out one thing. See, can destroy live like the one on the one uh, the final. So, and you have the song on this regular CD. So, it so you can listen to that vinyl on on a record player and on the CD. So, they put that there, and it says uh, and it says it's been various versions of the one single that was one of the various versions and then we have some more here we have rough mixes from the vault um yeah so rough mixes they're all songs from the and justice for all album except to live is to time was put on there twice uh two different versions obviously and then it's there's bread fan and the prince so after that, uh, there's Live Hammersmith Odeon, London, England, uh, which was when? October 10th, 1988. Um, yeah, that does sound. That sound. So, yeah. Live. Like, I almost said live. <laughs> Uh, Long Beach Arena, live at Long Beach Arena, and uh, just this one. This is the one that says "and more" because it because there are two CDs of it, and that's the end now. And now we have some really good stuff. We have DVDs here, and I remember I watched this one over and over again. I think it was the one. Then, like the music video for one, it had the radio edit for one, it had one live, it had like um, it had, like an interview with Lars about, about it. And I remember I watched this one as well. It's, oh, and I should mention this one's called And Can Call It For All One and Live at Shoreline Amphitheatre, Mountain View. Uh, was it that? Yeah, Mountain View, CA, September 15th, 1989. And then there's Live at Stone Balloon, Justice on Wheels, and Martha Ito Interviews, and Raw Live Footage. So, that's the full box set. So, yeah, I just wanted to go through it in case, like, is there anyone out there? wanted to know so maybe if you're not subscribed to my channel if you're someone new to the channel like this is where you just searched up like a walkthrough of this box set then if then please do go onto my channel and check out some of my other stuff mostly over there i do reaction videos and if you're um if you're one of my just normal subscribers and thanks for watching um so yeah, that that was the box set. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, comment if you have a reaction request because I do reactions on my channel or, or something to say in general. Like this video, share this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you again for another video on the channel very soon. So as for now, goodbye.